Well, hello, today is Monday, April 5th. <clears throat> I didn't get to get my walk in this morning. I was so disappointed. But we do have birthdays. Today is Brian, who is Linda's husband, who is, her channel name is Dayton's Grandma. So Brian, it's your birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Brian. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. It's also Susan Lynch's birthday. Susan, you knew you'd get a song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Susan. Happy birthday to you. Cha-cha-cha. Well, I hope you both have a really great birthday. Or you had a really great birthday by the time you see the video. Um... Like I said, I didn't get to get my walk in this morning. I woke up in time and <clears throat> looked at my app and it said that it was only a 40% chance of rain. So I thought, I think I can get my walk in. So I hurry up and got dressed and I stepped outside and it started to rain. <laughs> so I thought, well, I'll just wait. I'll do a little bit of housework around the house, you know, because Monday, do a little bit of cleaning on Mondays. So I did some cleaning and just started raining harder. Just wouldn't stop. So I thought, well, I didn't go grocery shopping last week, and I did need some stuff, so I think I'll just go over to Kroger's and do some grocery shopping. So I did that, and it was still raining. So then I came home, and I had brunch, because I ate about 2 o'clock, I think it was. It was right around 2 o'clock. And um, <clears throat> even though I bought some berries at my, um, on my shopping haul, if you saw that, and I, had, I, I went to Kroger's and I went to BJ's. BJ's is just like uh, Sam's Club or Costco, but in this area it's um, called BJ's. We do have a Sam's Club and we do have a Costco, but uh, neither one is close by me. The Sam's Club is probably about eh, maybe 20, 25 minutes away, and the uh, Costco is probably about a half hour away, whereas the BJ's is five minutes away, <laughs> so I go to BJ's. But, um, so I thought, well, you know, I, so we went, I went there and then I had to go bring something back, um, to Kohl's that I had bought. You can't use the feeding rooms and so you had to buy like two different sizes. My nephew went to, um, uh, Myrtle Beach, um, with his girlfriend and her family, they, uh, this past week. And, uh, I told him I'd get him an early graduation gift because he didn't have a bathing suit. So I took him to Kohl's. But the fitting rooms weren't open, so we bought two different sizes so that uh, he could try them on when he got home. So I had to bring the other size back. I thought he would take a medium. He insisted he was going to take a large. I brought the large back. <laughs> he kept the medium. But we didn't know, and it was just, you know, kind of last minute because uh, he was packing his bag that night to leave in the morning. So um, Denise's, it's Denise's son, Josh, that went to uh, Myrtle Beach. And he's been calling her every day. He's having a ball. He went on a dolphin boat and went and saw the dolphins. And um, he's, he's been seeing a lot of things, going a lot of sightseeing. He wears his mask and he has an appointment when he gets back. I think he comes back Wednesday and on Thursday um, he has an appointment to get his um, vaccine. I think he's I think he's getting the Johnson & Johnson. I think that with the young people, because they opened it up to 16 and older in our state, um, I'm thinking that for the younger people, they're trying to give them the Johnson & Johnson one, so they only have to go one time. Uh, my son Danny goes on Wednesday, and he's getting the Johnson & Johnson one. So, uh, you know, my family's getting vaccinated, so that's a good thing. And, but, uh, so then I thought, well, so I did that, and then by the time I got back, it was just like, it stopped raining, but I, I had stuff I had to do around here. And then Jim and I were having a, well, not Jim and I. Jim was having a problem with the volume on the phone, on the TV. Um, usually we only have to set it like at 30 or 35. We lost, I live in Michigan, oh, it does not that it should make a difference, but in my particular area, we lose our power all the time. Uh, we had rain today, but we didn't have a storm, but we had rain, which meant that we lost power. <laughs> so I had to go around and reset all my clocks and that. And then when the TV came back on, uh, we couldn't adjust the volume that uh, we had to have the volume. Normally when we have our volume, because we have a surround sound system, uh, we have it usually like around 25 to 30, depending on you know what kind of movie you're watching. We had to put it up to 100. <laughs> and then we could hardly hear it even at that. So we went over to Best Buy and talked to a salesperson and they walked us through how, what, how to get through the settings on the TV and that. So now we got it all fixed back to the where it's supposed to be. Um, somehow when the... Uh, 
had the power surge or whatever when we lost our power that uh, it took it off of the surround sound system and put it back to the TV and that was why we were having a problem with it. So we got that taken care of. And then, um, oh, like I was saying, I, I got the, I, I bought berries and that, but I'm going to try to change up my eating a little bit this week. Um, I only had two meals today, uh, only because I was so busy. Um, but I didn't eat my berries. A lot of you have told me, and I completely agree with you, that I, I eat too much fruit at one time. <laughs> And my berries are a lot of fruit. Uh, and it's a sugar and it's a natural sugar. I understand that. But I, I just have too many things, too many fruits at one time. So this week I'm going to try to cut back on my fruit a little bit. And uh, change up my eating a little bit. Because I think I'm in a rut that I'm eating the same stuff. And I think my body is just kind of getting used to, okay, it's breakfast time. She's going to have an egg. She's going to have a toast. She's going to have some bacon. She's going to have some berries. So I, I kind of wanted to fool it a little bit this week. So I'm kind of switching things up a little bit. Um, we were going to have chicken with, uh, I was going to have sweet potatoes and Jim was going to have a baked potato, but when we went over to Best Buy, by the time we got back, we didn't have time to cook it. So we're going to have that tomorrow for dinner. And so I just had a sandwich for dinner, but you know what? It was a lot of points. Thankfully I had enough, uh, points that I could have it and enjoy it because it was a really good sandwich. And then, uh, I made Jim pancakes and bacon because uh, he wanted breakfast for dinner. So I thought, okay, so I made him some pancakes and bacon. Jim's working days this week because the kids are on spring break. So then they do more deep cleaning and sanitizing and things like that during the week when they can get into the school for the whole day and when the whole crew can work together. And they don't have to worry about splitting them up into like morning and afternoon shifts. So everybody's working the morning shift so they can get things cleaned up a lot quicker. But um, <clears throat> other than that, just kind of staying on track. Um... I'm trying to get some of my obstacles out of my way. Um, one of my main obstacles is my thinking that I have to have so much fruit. And someone had pointed out, which was true, that it used to be that with Weight Watchers you could only have like two or three fruits a day. And I have like four or five or six fruits in one meal, and which I know is excessive. So I'm trying to cut that back a little bit. The only thing I didn't film is when we got back from Best Buy, um, I did have an apple. I had a Granny Smith apple with a glass of water. And I had a cup of tea with it. But um, I didn't film that, but that's, that's I had that in between my breakfast and my dinner. And um, I just, uh, I'm trying to be a little bit different who than I used to be. Uh, so many of you have, have agreed with me when I said that I need to stop eating like a 300-pound woman because I'm not a 300-pound woman anymore. So I'm really going to work this week on my uh, portion sizes and uh, trying to get a little bit more vegetables into my body than, than I have been getting. I, and I love vegetables. I love vegetables as much as I love fruit. But <clears throat> for some reason, I, I just don't uh, incorporate them into my diet as much as I should. So um, I'm going to work on that this week. Uh, I ate the whole bunny yesterday. <laughs> but I figured it in. It was seven points. And I figured in my points. And I ended up the day with 28 points. I get 23, and you can go like seven over or 10 under. So I was right in my little, right in my little sweet spot. So I, it was good, and I enjoyed the bunny, and it was, I savored every little bit of it. It was really good, and I loved it. Um, if you saw my BJ's haul, you saw I bought a lot of candy. I will not be tempted by that candy. I, um, I'm more of a like a bunny, chocolate bunny kind of a candy person. Or a brownie or a cake or a donut or something like that. Um, <clears throat> those candies don't really tempt me. But my kids, now that they're vaccinated and they're starting to come to visit, uh, and my grandkids, they're, uh, they go to that candy basket and they open it up and they, what? what? You know what? Because Jim, Jim and I just didn't have any candy during Lent. So I didn't had no point you know, of filling it. So uh, it's just cheaper to buy the big bags like that from BJ's and then I just hide it in the I have it in the hall closet which is my extended pantry because it's just Jim and I. I don't need all these cupboards and pantry shelves and stuff that I have. So out of sight, out of mind and the candy basket's off to the side where I don't see it. I'm not and I'm not tempted by it like I said. And then um, just uh, I got my granola bars which to me is like a candy bar as long as I keep it within you know, four points is not, not bad for a granola bar. And it's a healthy bar. So, anyway, I'm going to show you my food this week. I told you that. Um, and uh, 
I'm feeling pretty confident. I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have a loss this week. I really am. I kind of want to get out and walk a little bit more. Uh, I think I'm going to be able to walk. This week is supposed to be beautiful. One day this week we might go up to 80. Who to know? Who to thunk? So um, I'm hoping that will happen. But anyway, I'm going to show you my food now. But as always, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And always stay safe. And I'll show you what I had to eat today. I'm going to try to switch up my eating a little bit this week. So um, I'm not going to have any berries today, which is like, ooh, but I'm going to have pineapple. I tried to put this on a smaller plate, so that's why it's a little overcrowded, but that's just a luncheon plate. But today is Monday, April 5th. Um, I started my day with a prayer. I didn't walk today, like I mentioned earlier, is because it was uh, pouring rain. But my quote is, things turn out best for people who make the best out of the way things turn out. It's four point breakfast or lunch, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's three points for my half a cup of cottage cheese, one point for my 16 turkey pepperonis, zero for my egg, my pineapple, my banana, the salsa, my tea, and my veggies. So I still have 19 points left for the rest of my day. Okay, for dinner, I'm going to have some uh, Ritz chip crackers, some sugar-free pudding, and a ham and cheese sandwich with my Starbucks imitation iced tea. Five points for my two slices of bread, four points for my cheese, one point for my ham, two points for my pudding, zero for my lemonade, and four for my crackers. Sixteen points, so I still have three points left if I want something later on.